How's it going guys? Vlad here and I just wanted to take a minute uh, to thank you for leaving me such nice comments and subscribing to my channel and as part of the um, over a thousand subscribers I wanted to uh, do a pretty much a giveaway so if you want to stay tuned watch the video till the end I have a nice surprise for you um, so thank you again for watching, subscribing, commenting on my videos and hopefully you enjoy the tutorial and uh, yeah see you at the end How's it going guys? Vlad here and welcome to the 11th Arduino tutorial in which we're going to be discussing um, how do you actually control how high voltage outputs uh, through your Arduino. So some of the challenges as you know with the Arduino is first of all the fact that it works with the 5 volt and 3.3 volt environments and it is also incapable of driving uh, high currents. Uh, I believe I mentioned in a couple of my uh, tutorials if you look at the data sheet of the uh, at Mega 328 which is the main chip of the Arduino the maximum currents you can generally source are uh, within 40 milliamps so driving something like a high power LED strip will require um, a, uh, an outside device of the Arduino uh, one of which is a uh, very simple transistor or you may also use a relay so let's start uh, with the transistor, fairly simple circuit, um, and then we're going to jump to the relay. Alright, so as I've mentioned, I'm looking to drive this uh, high power LED strip. And looking through the specs, I'm quickly realizing that the operating voltage is 12 volts, which means that I cannot simply connect um, the Arduino pin directly to the LED strip and toggle it on and off like I did with the uh, previous digital LEDs, uh, which it which means pretty much that I have to use one of the two methods that I mentioned uh, earlier in order to drive this strip. So let's take a look at the first method. So if you're interested in the in-depth transistor theory, let me know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to quickly go through this. So I'm using the 2N4401 general purpose NPN transistor. So uh, quickly going through the data sheet, the emitter volt, uh, the collector emitter voltage is 40, collector base is 60. Uh, we also can drive a current up to 600 milliamps. So as you can see those specs are way uh, within the range of the power LED strip which only requires 35 milliamps of current as calculated from uh, the power consumption as well as the voltage. Um, if you want I'm going to post a uh, link to this data sheet if you're interested in some of the other characteristics of this device. Uh, so let's take a look at the circuit that we need to set up in order to, tr to drive something with a transistor uh, by using the Arduino. So here's the circuit that you saw earlier. Um, as you can see I have a 12 volt uh, DC barrel jack on here that you may have uh, may or may not have noticed. So that goes to my uh, breadboard. I have a plus and a, and a ground obviously. I also connect my Arduino to the common ground to make sure my both of my circuits are on the on the same ground. I'm using a pin 13 to drive the transistor through the base. I have a current limiting resistor of 22 uh, kilo ohms in my case. Uh, depending on the transistor that you may be using, it could be different. Um, the uh, emitter side of the transistor is also grounded. Uh, I am then driving the collector side through the strip so I'm pulling one wire to the LED strip and pulling the positive or the high voltage side of the LED strip to the uh, 12 volt rail in order to power the LED strip. So what happens exactly is when I apply the voltage to the uh, transistor I have a closed circuit which goes through the ground, to my emitter, to the collector, through the uh, LED strip and then it goes to the 12 volt barrel jack thus uh, closing that particular loop and uh, lighting up my LED strip. So let's uh, take a look at how this uh, works on an actual circuit. So here's the circuit in action. Uh, just a quick correction, I'm using a pin 9 of the Arduino instead of the pin 13 mentioned earlier because I'm I decided to load the PWM um, example or sketch onto this uh, on the Arduino in order to fade in and fade out the LED strip. So that requires a 
PWM output as you have learned pre in the previous tutorials. So again, let's quickly overview the circuit. Uh, pin 9 goes through the resistor to the base of our uh, transistor which turns um, the strip on and off. As you can see if I remove that pin nothing is happening so I need that PWM output. Um, the strips uh, power and ground are going through the collector and the emitter of the transistor and I have uh, as I mentioned earlier the barrel jack of 12 volts uh, from a power supply coming in uh, to the circuit as well. So as you can see I, I can very simply drive a high voltage um, element by using the transistor. So you can apply this for um, motors that require uh, a higher current, uh, higher voltage devices. Um, obviously there's going to be restrictions for the transistors but you can also drive solenoids, uh, all kinds of pumps, uh, etc. So let's take a look at the power relay module next. So a relay module is going to give you the ability to drive uh, much higher loads. So as you can see the ratings on the on these is 10 amps. So you can pretty much, um, you can drive very powerful heaters. You can drive uh, very uh, heavy loads. You can drive motors. You can drive pretty much whatever you want. Like much bigger things than a transistor would allow you to. So the relay on its own has to be driven through a transistor as well but since I have a module it alleviates that problem so I uh, all I have to do is pretty much put a uh, ground and 5 volts onto the rail so as you can see the relay itself has uh, four pins the relay module sorry so the ground both of the VNs and then the VCC so VN is the actual signal which is going to be toggling uh, right now I have the basic blink sketch uh, for pin 13 so as you can see I have the pin toggling and pin 13 and the opposite is happening on the relay. So the output of the relay itself is um, basically the functionality of the relay is when you energize the coil inside the relay you're either going to be uh, pulling in a contact or pulling pushing out a contact. So in this case uh, from the markings let me just zoom in a little bit into the module um, so as you can see there's markings on the module itself. Uh, in the normal uh, situation the relay is closed to this pin and once you apply a voltage meaning that that LED is lit up you will be toggling that connection to the uh, white wire that I currently have connected. So I, if you um, followed the previous explanation if I plug in this wire I should be able to simply uh, complete the circuit and uh, power on the LED strip. So let me just put it in there and tighten the connection because it's going to be um, inconsistent. So this is essentially a, like putting a, uh, a very basic button in the circuit. So um, all I'm doing is closing that contact allowing the current to flow through uh, from the barrel jack through the LED strip and then back into the ground of the uh, of the 12 volt connection and that allows the uh, strip to light up. So this this 12 volt portion of the circuit is completely isolated. There's absolutely no uh, there's no common ground. There's no there's essentially nothing. The only wires that are even touching the, uh, this portion of the circuit are these two and that all they're doing is going through the contacts of the relay. So that is uh, how, pretty much how you can drive powerful loads. Um, I have received a lot of questions uh, asking how you can drive multiple LEDs through a single pin. So obviously the Arduino like I said multiple times cannot drive uh, more than 40 milliamps and even lower in uh, different cases based on the data sheet. So pay attention to that uh, because the Arduino itself is not protected um, against uh, overload so make sure to use transistors and or relays when necessary. So once again thank you guys for watching. Uh, share this video if you can. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Uh, let me know what projects you're using uh, the relays or end transistors on. And uh, thank you once again for watching. Bye.
So I'm going to be giving away the MSP430 Launchpad Kit. Uh, this kit was first released by Texas Instruments uh, about two years ago, I believe. And I got my hands on uh, two of them, so I'm going to be giving away the spare kit. So in order to participate in this draw, you need to be a subscriber of the channel. So uh, please click the subscribe button down below. Uh, you also need to share the video uh, so that your uh, friends and family can also join the draw. And you need to leave a comment down below. You can comment whatever you want. Uh, I don't really, uh, I'm not picky. All I need is uh, the number of the comment which you left. I'm also going to be checking if you've left multiple comments. So please don't spam the comment section. Um, and give uh, a chance for others to participate as well. And at the end of this uh, draw, which is going to be in two weeks, I will be pulling... I will be using essentially a random number generator to pull a comment and this kit is going to be sent out um, to wherever you live, uh, anywhere across the world, uh, as long as it makes through the customs and uh, there are no issues uh, in your country. I don't know if you have to pay customs, anything like that, that's going to be up to you. So uh, once again, thank you for subscribing, watching my channel, leaving me awesome comments, uh, keep them coming. And see you guys later.